A course in Moodle is made up of sections and activities that are designed to deliver content to students in a meaningful and logical way. To create a new course, head over to Site Admin, click on the Courses tab, and then click Add a new course. When creating a new course, the only two required fields are the course name and the course short name. Courses in Moodle can have the same name, but no two courses can have the same short name. Under the course category section, under course category, you can select which category you want this course to belong to. You can set the course visibility and the course start and end date if that's relevant to your course. If at any time while creating a course you're uncertain about what a specific field does, click on the question mark icon to get help with that field. While creating a course, you are given hundreds of options to tailor make the course to your specifications. You can go through the settings and try them out. And if you're unhappy, you can always come back and edit the course. Let's save our course as is and see what it looks like. When you create a course and click save, you'll be taken to the participants page where you'll be able to enroll students into the course. If you would like to view the actual course, click on the course name in the left menu or the course name in the breadcrumb. This is now the blank canvas for us to start creating our course. To edit our course settings, click on the gear icon and click edit settings. We'll be taken back to the page where we created our course and we'll be able to modify it further. Let's go through some of these options and describe what each one does. Under course format, we are given a few different formats for the topics in our course. We can even remove all the topics and create a course with a single activity format. Under Appearance, we can modify the appearance settings for our students. If we have assignment activities and we would like users to be able to submit assignments, we can set the assignment limit size here. Under Completion Tracking, it's set to yes by default. This will allow us to track student progress through the course. We'll see how this works when we start creating activities inside our course. Under groups, we have a few modifications for how we would like groups to be handled in this course. Generally, we'd like to set this to separate groups so that each group can only see members in their own group. If you want to force members in your course into groups, you can click on force group mode and change it to yes. And finally, we have role renaming, which will change the name of the roles allocated to certain users. And we have tags, which will allow users to filter out courses based on their tags. Once you're happy with all the settings, click save and display.